How's it going everybody? Nolan Guthrie back with another quick video. As we get closer to summer and the temperatures start to rise, we start to get a lot of questions about how long you should water your lawn. And really what you need to be asking is how much do you water your lawn? And that might sound like the same question, but there's actually a very subtle difference. How long you water the lawn is how long the sprinklers are turned on for, but how much you water the lawn is how much water is actually getting into any one spot throughout the lawn. And that's gonna change based on the time of year and the type of sprinkler you have. And really what we wanna know is how much water you're putting out on the lawn. A lawn needs about one inch of water a week to stay healthy. An easy way to tell how much water you're putting out on the lawn during your running cycle is to use something like our Dr. Jim's water audit kit. So with the Jim Z's water audit kit, you're gonna get a set of instructions. It's gonna show you how to use the kit. And then you're gonna get four of these cups. And these cups are to the lawn. You get four of these, it's marked to an inch. So you'll be able to put these out through the lawn, run your sprinklers, and then you can tell how much water is getting into each of these sections when you run your entire sprinkler system. So to get started with your water audit, you're gonna take your four cups and you're gonna space them throughout the lawn in different areas to test the coverage of your zone. If you Once your cups are placed, run your sprinkler for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now that we've finished watering for about 15 minutes, let's compare the different water levels in each cup throughout the lawn. Uh-oh, quite a bit of difference there. Got a little bit more in number three. And number four has about the same as number three. So as you can see, there was variation in all four cups. Number one seemed about, just about right. Number two was definitely very low, which means there's something wrong in that section. Uh, I was visually able to inspect that one of the sprinklers in that area is malfunctioning, so that's going to need to be replaced. There might also be a coverage issue and some adjustments might need to be made with the surrounding sprinklers. Number three and number four were both at a very high level and doing very well. So I think in overall the lawn's looking pretty good except for that one issue. This water audit exercise is a great way to tell if you have a sprinkler malfunction as opposed to a bug or a disease. A lot of times we start to see dry spots and dying spots in the lawn and we assume that they're bugs when really all it could be is a sprinkler needs to get raised up, some filters need to get cleaned out, or a sprinkler head needs to get replaced. 